let's derive the volume formula for a square pyramid using calculus volume of a square pyramid where the base is a square you have that apex is equal to one or three capital b which represents the area of that base of that pyramid times the height of the pyramid how do we derive it look here at your square pyramid draw a certain slice pluck out this cross-sectional slice and look at it it's square anywhere you look at it from the base to the height of that pyramid you can always draw and pluck out a square slice having a certain dimension s if you were to do the area you have s square if you integrate s square it's incorrect because you're not accounting for the convergence you see for the pyramid from the base to the apex the slices are large close to the base but they converge and become smaller and smaller towards the apex you have to account for that convergence how do you do it by means of a ratio if you look here at a cross-sectional face of your pyramid it has a complete b a base it has a complete height and you have a slice here with a partial side s you can say a partial base s and a certain x units from the apex you have a ratio which will come out complete height or complete base is equal to partial height or partial side and you solve for s s here is equal to x b over h if you do s square which is you're doing now the values of this which you have determined x b or h and you square them to get the area of this cross-sectional slice you have now x square or b square over h square if you integrate this it's correct because the ratio captures the convergence slices being larger at the base and then converging and narrowing out towards the top and disappearing altogether this is what you integrate how do you integrate it from a lower limit zero to upper limit the height of your pyramid you have here constants b square over h square plug them out volume is equal to this lower limit zero upper limit h your only variable integrating is x square dx when you integrate this you have b square over h square and you have x cube over three upper limit h and a zero put zero it's meaningless put h you have here b square over h square times h cube over three simplifies this cancels out with that you will have here one or three b square h this is not exact as this but it's correct because i'm looking here at a base with dimensions b and b you multiply them you'll have b square this is equal to one or three b square h or the b square represented by a capital b to represent the base of this pyramid square pyramid and this right here your formula has been derived